All right, are we doing this? Hey everyone, my name is Tom and this is Hazel. There are a few big news that I wanted to start off with. First of all, I quit my job to be a full-time game developer. I really want to finish New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon by the end of the year and I believe that this decision will help me get there. Also, that means a lot of changes uh, to the game and channel. There will be bigger updates to the game itself. I decided to do the vlogs uh, twice a month instead of weekly because doing them weekly took a lot of time and I thought that I'm not doing enough progress in the game to do them weekly. So I've decided to do them twice a week and I finally started the playtest for the game. I got my first feedback. So for the past uh, week and a half I've been working on the feedback notes that I got. Let's look at what changed in the past two weeks. So I started off with fixing some bugs, adding this exit prompt to the main menu, adding a very simplistic tutorial to explain the playtesters how to play the game because I know some of the mechanics are not straightforward yet and it takes a learning curve to get there, especially with all the UI being very temporary and will require a lot of work and I added this money cheat code for playtesters so they could test everything without any problems because I know the game is not balanced. Making money right now is close to impossible. And then I packaged up everything and uploaded it to Steam. Before getting any playtest notes, I decided that it's time to work on some of the visuals. I know everyone loved the cubed factories, but I think it's time to change them up. I made the first pass on the fish and cheese factory. This is what they look like now. As I mentioned in the previous devlog, the core mechanics seems to work and it's time to really work on the visuals of the game. So be prepared to see more visual changes in the future. In the current build of the game, the settings look like this. I only have audio settings and the video and controls are completely empty tubs. I decided to change that. In the controls, I'm listing all the current buttons you cannot change them at the moment, but at least they are there and it's not empty. Same with the video, I added the option for full screen and the audio stayed the same. But at least these two tabs are not empty anymore. The biggest change I was working on was the Windows system. The game contains many panels and windows and they're all separate from each other. With this change, I'm adding a base window class to all of them, which means that they will all be connected. This is very useful, because when I wanted to add the animation, for example, all I had to do is to update the base window class. And now all of them inherit from the same spot and out of the box just use the open and close animation. Another example would be when I wanted to make these buttons as open and close toggles. All I had to do is to update the base class and all of them work. This is a great example of why object-oriented programming is awesome. There was an interesting bug that allowed players to buy negative ingredients and earn infinite amount of money by doing that. So obviously I had to fix that as well. I finally had the chance to update the factory UI. This is what it looked like before and this is it now. So as you can see I update both the UI itself and I added this production thing that will show you the progress of the ingredients made in this factory and how much you will receive at the end of it. Well, that's all the updates for this week. Um, thank you for watching. There's gonna be some changes as I'm figuring out how to do this full time. If you want to watch it live, you can join on Twitch. And yeah. Please wishlist New Brooklyn Bridge Tycoon on Steam, that really helps, and I will see you next time. Yeah.